I'm sorry, I gotta comment on this music again. This music's really awesome. I just love the music. It's great. Anyway, hello everybody, this is HyperCult64. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64 in the last episode. Um, what did we do? Oh yes, um, we found our first shop here, and probably our final shop, although I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the final shop. And, uh, we found a, technically a toad house, I guess you could say, but it's not really a toad house. And in this episode, we're gonna keep going with Chapter 8. Now, in the last episode, uh, we cut it off a little bit short because there was something we, um, were coming up to, and I wanted to leave it for this episode. So, let's get started. So, this little puzzle right here. Um, as you can see, there's planks right here. That means we are going to be doing some swimming. But wait, there's no water here. Well, we actually need to fill this place with water. So how the heck are we going to do that? Well, let's see here. Well, there's a lock over there. We need to get a key. So we hit up here. So we'll need sushi for this part. Nice. Okay. Uh, here's something right here. This will um, give some water out. And then we need to use sushi to, um, go through this water. I remember... I... I think I remember having trouble with this puzzle the first time, but... Now that I come to think of it, it's not really that hard, and... Um, okay. I need to get out. Be fast. I forgot to pull out my 3DS. I need to know how much time has passed by. Because I'm going to try and uh, lower my time limit for these videos, because even with the cutting, these episodes have been incredibly long, and I really apologize for that, so... Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, okay, I'm back. Let's keep on going. Now we press this switch right here, and we get another spring. So we head up here. Now we need Bobetta for this part. And we'll just blow up this crack. Yeah, I... This isn't as hard as it was the first time I did this. I don't know why I had trouble with it. But this part, just do this. That's basically it. I think that was the part I may have gotten stuck on, because I didn't know to do, like, a ground pound. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Anyway, now what we need to do is go over there, and this speedy spin will help us get there faster. Man, I love the speedy spin. It, it just makes things a lot faster. This... The speedy, the reason why, the best reason why you should get the speedy spin in the first place is because it makes uh, getting to areas a lot of more efficiently. It's like traveling is a lot more efficient because you get to go a lot faster. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't attack enemies and crap. My battery is low. My 3S is just going to close it. Okay. So uh, we need to get back out sushi again for these platforms. We need to swim somewhere else. So where are we supposed to swim next? Let's see. Right over here. And it gives us a key. Huzzah. Let me check for something. Hang on. I wonder if there's some kind of secret or something. Nope. Yes. Just want to take a shot at that. No idea why. Okay. Um, we haven't seen any that much. There wasn't really that many enemies in this room, so I wonder where all of them are. It's kind of odd. But no matter. Uh, we need to get all of this water now back down. Now, how the heck are we gonna do that? Um, well, if we head over here. Um, I th yeah, I think we need to, uh, just press this again. Yep, that does it. I don't think it drains at all. I think we need to actually go back to that other chain we also see right there. And, uh, um, we need to also press that as well, so... That shouldn't be too hard. So, this wasn't really that hard. I really don't see why I thought this was hard the first time. This is actually quite easy. So we head through here, and then we'll just go to that chain, pull it down, and then it will drain more of the water. Or all of the water, the rest of the water, I mean. And then we can take the key, go through the door, and then we can move on with the chapter. Um, hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, let's talk to my dad for a little bit. Head down here, and we have put in the key, and we're off. So, oh, sorry, I have to adjust the mic. Oh no! Oh crap! Oh no, I forgot about these guys. These are golden bullet bills. They are annoying as heck! 
Oh, wow. I got the feet really, really easily. And I gave out a decent amount of experience. So this is a bombshell build. Um, these bombshell builds are basically harder than bullet builds. I, we, I think the only time we've really seen bullet builds, or the, the only other time we've seen bullet builds in this Let's Play, was probably in Chapter 1, uh, when we were trying to catch up to the Koopa Bros. Anyway, he's defeated. Um, I don't know if he commits suicide, but I don't think we're ever going to find out, because they just died. And I just realized something. I just realized something. Her belly flop is much more powerful than a single jump from Mario. That's kind of sad and crap. Yeah, they kill themselves once you attack them, so that's really not much of a big deal. But they do give out six damage every time. Like, if you don't guard, they give out six damage if they attack you. So even though they do commit suicide, you still they still give a good amount of damage to you. And we're just about to level up. And I think I'm... I think I'm just going to attack one more bullet bill. There we go. Alright, we're leveling up here. Die, you jerk. Huzzah. Yeah, these, these battles get really easy if you're really leveled up. And we are now leveled up to level 92. And we actually got exactly what we needed, so that's cool. Okay, so next up, I believe we should probably do HP just to be safe. And now... For the attack. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to do a ground attack. Okay, um... Yeah, ground attacks is the best idea here. Because th you can't damage him them with their regular hammer, so the only way they're going to defeat them is with, like... I wonder if the tidal wave would work. Hmm... I feel like I should try, but at the same time, I shouldn't. I'll just try a squirt, see if I can beat one of them. Oh, it works! So, Tile Wave might have worked. Um, no matter, because these jerks are gonna die. You suck! Huzzah! And they gave out three hip- uh, three star points. <laughs> Agrimmer again. And now they give us less, so finding bull bills is not really that much of a big deal now since they only give us one, like, like one star point. But it could be kind of helpful. Oh, there's more. You suck. Might as well fight some more. You know what? You know what? I think from now on, whenever I fight an enemy, Whenever I'm going through a new path, I'm fighting old enemies, I'll just cut out the battles. That way you guys don't have to see them. Because I know it can be kind of boring just me fighting the same enemies over and over again. It, even though uh, those bullet bills only give out like one star, po one star point, at least it's some star points. But to be honest, oh! I attacked a bullet bill before I was able to attack those other things. Wow, that's just... I would consider that to be luck. Just... I, I don't know what I can say that. But I need to choose a different... Hang on. Before I start. Before I attack that enemy. I need to think of a different partner I should use for the next guys. Or... Could, could Susie work? I'm trying to think here. Um... No, I don't think anything else will work. Okay. Just checking. Belly flop time! And Sushi actually gets slightly bigger, like, as, like, just for a slight second, she's, like, bigger, she's, like, twice as big as her original size, I really don't know why. Maybe she's, like, a, one of those, I forgot what she's called, but it's, like, a fish that, like, uh, puffs up whenever it's mad or something, I really don't know. It's, it's, it's basically, it's the same animal as, like, Mrs. Puff from Spongebob, and I did another Spongebob references again. How many Spongebob references is that so far? Like, what? Two? Three, four, I don't know. Um, but... Might as well try belly flop. Just for kicks! Oh, that works! Wait, does that mean Mario can't attack it? I'm tempted to try, but I'm not going to. If, if Mario only gets four damage from me, and Sushi gets five, that means Mario cannot give damage to those bullet bill cannons, but yet, <laughs> Sushi can. 
That's kind of sad. Yeah, I feel bad for Mario. <laughs> the partners are more powerful than him. It's kind of ironic, actually. Or, I don't know. Anyway. Doing pretty good on star points right now. We got a good amount of coins. How many coins do we have? We have 71. We're good. We're all good. Oh, there's a third one. Frick. Alright. Come on, Val. Yay for Battle Cuts. Oh, there's even... Oh, I saw some in the top. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Can we look back, back at that a little bit? Hold on, replay that. I, like... It, it came out right when I was about to hit the hammer on the ground. That was extremely odd. That was... Both odd and really cool. Oh, man. So many awesome things are happening in this Let's Play. I love when awesome things ha happen, happen like that. It's just so cool. Anyway. Off screen. Oh, never mind. We're finding the other things. Okay. Uh, okay, no off screen. Never mind. Um, we need to fight more enemies. Uh, what should I do? Okay, I'm gonna try Power Quake, and I'm gonna give... Tidal Wave a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it does any damage. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be taking myself. Okay, Tidal Wave. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate on this. Alright, seven. So let's see if that does any damage at all. Oh snap, it did! Wow. Doesn't do that much, though. Let's see, if they have... Yeah. Okay, so that those bullet bill cannons have four four uh four points of defense because I'm gonna do I wanna try it out? No, I don't want to. I don't wanna take a chance. I gotta just beat him up right here. So yeah, so if Mario can only give out four damage, if that if four points of damage if the um if the enemies have no defense, then that means that um those bullet bill cannons have four uh, points of defense. Which is kind of cool, I guess. We get 10! Nice. It's always nice to get double-digit ones. It's always cool. More coins! More beautiful coins! And more freaking bullet bills! Off screen! Alright, we are back, and now we need to get to those cannons. Hurry up to those cannons. <laughs> I love how I did it. Oh, come on! Off screen! And we're back. Let's go! Yeah, no damage. Oh, we have a Kamek! Oh, <laughs> Magic Koopa! Jeez! Ugh. Okay, what should I do? In fact, okay. I'm just gonna do this. Star Storm. Go! I'm not gonna do that ma 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 thing, because all that's led to is doing a ma 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 song of some sorts. Okay, I'm gonna attempt this. And I'm gonna see if it works. I have to get at least seven on this. I'm gonna concentrate. Here we go. Yes, I got seven. All right, all the enemies are defeated. What now? No damage. Nice. Awesome. We are already up to 55 star points. That's, that was fast, pretty fast. Nice. All right, cool. And another door. All right, cool. Oh, and leads to a nerf. Oh! Oh! Maple syrup. Wanna grab that. Okay, so this is the first encounter of Dry Bones. We haven't seen these guys yet. Um, these guys have 8 HP, and if you defeat them, actually, there's something that they do. They can actually, um, come back together and fight you more. So you might want to defeat all enemy on the screen. All enemies, I mean, on the screen before those Dry Bones start to assemble back together. Or else you'll be kind of screwed. Um, but no matter. Suck. Suck. Oh, and they have, if you couldn't tell, they have two points of defense. So I'm not gonna attack that guy. So, so I'm not gonna attack, um, I'm not gonna attack the first dry bones for a while because if I do, then he'll just reassemble again. So what I'm gonna do here is attack both enemies at the same time. You wanna make sure you have, um, badges where you can attack both enemies at the same, all enemies on screen. Cause that way you can feed all of them. 
They give me nothing! They give me absolutely freaking nothing. They're a waste of my time. And I need to get rid of item. All these items are really good. Crap. Oh, uh, I need to throw this. Or no. I know what to do. Use another one of my maple syrups. Good time to do it, too, because I'm kind of low. So those dry bones are a waste of my time. I forgot they give you nothing, so I'm not going to fight any more of those, guys. Screw you! And I need to use... Okay. Use a super shroom! Huzzah! Oh, do you need to feed all of them? Oh, you do. Okay. Okay, then. We need to feed all of them. So we have something else coming up. Oh, man! Holy crap. Uh, let me check the time, guys. Okay. We still have, a, we still have some time. Let's keep on going. Uh, what should I do now? I think. Um. Well, I want to defeat Dry Bones last, because remember, like I said earlier, they can reassemble, so I want to defeat Dry Bones last. So I'm going to go ahead and attack the Koopa Troll. Die, Koopa Troll! You shall die to Sushi's belly! Okay, um, what should we do now? Um. Okay, um, we need to... Thank you. Uh, what I know is I can't do the. Oh, oh! I forgot. I have the spike shield on. Screw you! That's right. I I put the sp I had the spike shield on. Thank God I do. The spike shield is literally your best friend in this game. It literally is. All right. Now that all the enemies are defeated, it should trigger something. Yes, I think so. Um. Oh. Oh, we're supposed to push one of these. Another- I just wasted my time again. Wow. Nice. And what's through here? Entry way. I have a feeling there's something on that other door, so I'm gonna go check. Just to be sure. Nope. Okay, cool. We're out of here. Is there anything on this side? I wonder. Hang on, I I, I I gotta check this out. I gotta check something. Hang on. I gotta check. You always gotta check for some extras, because you're gonna need as many extras as you can. I, I, I feel like this one's explodable. You know, even though it is... It, this game does say, technically, that cracks are made for exploding, but remember that there have been a couple times where... There are explosive walls that you can't see. That's why I was a little cautious there. Oh, this is the place. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Save points. Okay, I think we're going to end it off for this episode. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it off. So I'll see you guys next episode. This is HyperCole64, signing out. See you next episode.